Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how I got this simple, easy, everyday, very wearable makeup look and actually I'm going to go to work in a few hours so I got ready filming this video and this is more like a update on how I do my makeup for work because I haven't filmed one of those in a long time. So this is more like an update what products I'm recently loving and using and a few new items that I recently purchased and uh, some updates, you know. I know I stopped doing shoutouts in my previous videos, that's because I don't see new faces in the comment section, so I don't want this to be very boring, like mentioning the same people over and over again, even though I really, really appreciate each and everyone that I mentioned before and everyone who supports this channel. So probably I should do shoutouts from Instagram because... Instagram is another story. But in today's video I'm going to shout out Dania. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate your kind comments. And actually Dania is someone that I met at work. So uh, thank you so much for your support. And yeah, if you want to be mentioned in my videos, just be subscribed to the channel and stay active in the comment section and I'm going to shout out you in my next video. So yeah guys, if you want to see how I achieved this simple everyday makeup look, and if you want to hear me rumbling a little bit, then keep on watching. Oh, hello guys. Look at my face. I have a very sleepy face. <laughs> wow, those bags under my eyes. They're not Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> wow, so <laughs> it's been a while since I sat down and filmed because everything you saw so far on my channel, it was pre-filmed. And uh, wow, it's been a minute. Wow, I look so sleepy, I need to put some makeup on. I'm still in my pyjamas, by the way. I'm still in my pyjamas. It's only 6 p.m. Only 6 p.m. I'm on my night shift, so don't at me. That's why I look so not cute. I'm going to put my makeup on because I'm going to get ready for work. Even though it's a little bit too early to get ready for work, but... I wanted to film this week video so I don't have any idea what to film so I'm going to film a random ramble get ready with me kinda and I'm going to show you a few new products that I recently bought oh my god you guys I'm wasting my money on makeup like nobody's business just saying just saying so um I don't have moisturizer on my face but I'm going to moisturize my face and I'm going to use this Fort Ray Beauty Fort Ray Beauty as I said uh, in my I don't know what video was that I said that this doesn't gives me enough hydration but for under my makeup this works so nice it doesn't feel it, it doesn't feel greasy at all and uh, I'm going to do two pumps and I'm going to apply this on my face. Oh my god, I didn't use a toner. It's okay, it's alright. What's new besides the drama? Because I already know the drama. I don't keep up with the drama anymore. It doesn't affect me. I don't want drama on my channel, so, you know. Anyway, let's not talk about the drama <laughs> so in this video I wanted to update you guys and to let you guys know that I'm going to be back in like one month with my normal schedule you know posting three videos a week but guess what bad news I mean <sighs> they're bad news but they're kind of good news at the same time so they offer me to I don't know, to keep working or to keep the job till August. I'm not happy about that. I don't know why I said yes. <laughs> but guess what? I'm going to have more money to spend on makeup. So I guess that's not a bad news. At least not for my wallet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to keep posting once a week. And I'm going to let you guys know when I'm going to be back with my normal schedule. You know, posting three videos a week. Ooh, ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait to play with makeup more to play more with makeup because i do play with makeup but not that much uh recently so i guess that's the update 
I'm going to do my eyebrows and I think I'm going to do them off camera. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. Oh guys, probably this uh, will be my last video with this hair color because I already bought a hair dye. And guess what color? Guess what color I'm going to do next. Are you guys ready? Ta-da! Surprised? Me neither. <laughs> so I'm going to do brunette, like natural brunette, and I already bought my extensions because I do ex I do <laughs> I do extensions. I like my hair to be more, you know, more full to look like I have a lot of hair, even though I don't have a lot of hair. So yeah, um, I guess in my next video you will see me brunette or this color brunette right it's moreno brunette anyway i want to get back to my natural color even though my natural color is not this dark it's a little bit more grayish brunette moreno how you say that i don't know but it's a little bit more grayish kind of so it's not that deep dark black probably i'm going to regret this i don't know midsummer or so but yeah, anyway, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'm going to be right back. Okay, eyebrows are done. And uh, um, I wanted to say something about this brand, BH Cosmetics. But you know what? I, I don't want the drama on my channel. Anyway, speaking about the drama, someone asked me how my Halo Beauty journey is so far. And I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I have to say that I wasn't constant, like taking the pills, I wasn't constant. For example, now I have like two days since I took them. That's because um, my brain doesn't work, you know? I don't take pills like vitamins and stuff, so that's why I always forget. So probably I should go and take those right now anyway um i know this is uh, this on this uh, i know on this says nails skin and hair i purchased this not for my hair or for my nails i purchased this because i have those little bumps i don't know there's a name for that but i do have them on my arms and on my legs and I was hoping that they will go away, like they will disappear. Well, because these pills claim to do that. I have to say that these pills didn't solve my problems, but I did saw a change. Like, for example, my hair never grows. It never grows. It's so fine and so thin. Disgusting, I know. But by taking these pills, my hair... Uh, did growth a lot like by the past by the past two months my hair got so long like my hair never grows this much and this fast because it was very fast I'm going to show you right now and I don't have any extensions on I hope you guys can see how freaking long my hair is I mean for some people probably this is not long but to me my hair is so long. I love it. So, my nails are still the same. They... I always had long nails. Not very strong because they do break very easy. My skin looks the same. I guess that's it. That's the update on the Hello, Hello, Hello Beauty. I don't think I'm going to repurchase them because hella expensive. Like, hella expensive. I did bought three bottles. I still have like half bottle. I don't think I'm going to repurchase them because they are so expensive, you know? And um, yeah, I guess that's the update. I would like to try the Kiwi Hello just for my skin because I saw very good results. For my foundation, I'm going to use... No, first I'm going to use this Catrice Primer. And I bought this thinking it's a dupe for the milk makeup gripping primer but I was wrong I mean I saw that on Instagram someone compared them and they said that this might might be a dupe 
it's not because from what I heard that milk gripping primer is like glue to your face you know what I'm saying so this doesn't do that but I have to say that this is so hydrating it's like even more hydrating than this um, lightweight hydrator from uh, Ray. Fourth Ray <laughs> fuck I can't talk uh, and I do like this primer I have to say I'm going to apply just a little bit it's like a bluish aqua blue color next I'm going to apply just a little bit of this cover FX blurring primer because you know I have smile lines um, expression lines so I'm going to apply this where I have my lines okay for my foundation I'm going to use my Milani uh, perfect and conceal uh, foundation this is in light natural and I have to say that this is amazing for like daily lightweight um, a little bit of coverage foundation I love this for when I'm going to work because it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't look heavy it doesn't look like I have foundation at all on my face it's so lightweight it's amazing I'm going to repurchase this for sure and uh, again I nailed it with the shade so yeah I'm going to do two pumps or maybe one and a half and I'm going to apply it with my um, beauty sponge oh you guys I bought the Revlon one step hair dryer uh, it will arrive by the end of this month so uh, expect um, first impression I guess on that I'm so curious how that works because as I said previously in my hair hair tutorials I don't know how to blow dry my hair like straight you know what I'm saying so yeah that I hope that works for me and if it works oh my god amazing I did pay 55 euros and I purchased that from Amazon it was sold out for about two months <laughs> but now it's back in stock so I cannot wait for that to arrive at my door at my door at my door <laughs> Next I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer I have to say that I love this concealer so much I'm going to apply just a little bit My makeup look when I'm going to work is so easy peasy, simple, nothing fancy, no eyeshadow, no highlight I know that's crazy, no highlight And I finally got my hands on the Laura Mercier Mercier? Mercier? I don't know how to say that It says Mercier Mercier Translucent powder. <laughs> I wanted to get my hands on this powder since forever now, and finally I have it on my hands. <clears throat> I'm tasting. I'm tasting. <laughs> not tasting. Like not not eating. Like testing this out. I've been using this for about three days now, and I was scared because I saw a lot of mixed reviews. Uh, especially under my eyes I do have dry skin and uh, some loose powders doesn't look that good for me under there but I have to say that this is okay I do prefer my hourglass for under my eyes but as I said I'm testing this out I don't like the packaging I feel like it's so messy but and uh, I found that applying this with a sponge works better than applying applying it with a brush and I have to say that this is expensive I bought this on Cult Beauty and I think it was 30 pounds I don't know exactly so far so good I don't have anything bad to say about this but as I said I found that it works better applying this with a sponge next I'm going to bronze my face and I know that I said I don't like this Jouer bronzer because it doesn't give me what I want but for work this is so light you know like barely there I'm going to mix uh, both shades this is in light to medium duo sunlight and sun tan and I'm just going to lightly um, give my cheeks a little bit of this de definition I feel like for every day this looks so natural but it doesn't give me what I need okay next because I have some extra time I'm going to use my Milani baked bronzer I love this so much as a bronzer topper this is in the shade 04 glow 
and uh, it's so beautiful it, it adds a little bit of shine not too much and I feel like it's beautiful I don't think you can see that on camera I mean yeah you can see a little bit of glow so beautiful so beautiful oh you guys I want to film a video in Spanish but I don't want to film that video like by myself I want to have someone with me in that video I'm going to try to convince my boyfriend but he doesn't want to be on camera so I don't know how yeah I don't know how I'm going to convince it but I don't want to film that video by myself if that makes any sense any, any sense it doesn't make sense I know so I'm going to set my face with the Morphe setting spray because this is so bomb you guys so bomb and recently I purchased for the first time in my life the MAC Prep and Prime Prep and Prime Fix Spray and I think this was a huge mistake because I bought the lavender scent and I have to say that this smells like abuelos you know <laughs> doesn't smell good I don't like the scent and also I don't like the mist is like in your face you know you see those well, those spots uh, on your face I'm going to show you but of course I'm going to use it because I paid for it but the scent is <coughs> and honestly I don't know exactly if this holds my makeup in place all day but yeah as I said I'm going to use it because I paid for it so um uh, I can't with this scent. I, I can't. I can't. Look at my face. I hope you can see. Oh no, they are not there. Wow. So, um, this tried to make me look like a liar. I'm going to try again. Okay. Okay, now it's there. <laughs> I'm not a liar. Oh, but you can see that on camera. No, you can see. Uh, for my lips, I'm going to apply a little bit of this Fenty Balm Lip Gloss. And I know that I said I don't like this shade. But it's not I don't like the shade. I don't like that this brings the redness on my lips. Not every time, just sometimes when I don't apply what's ever left on my sponge, you know, on my lips. So, the redness doesn't came true, if that makes sense. I do like, because this makes my lips so juicy. So shiny. Hmm. I kind of want the pink one. Okay, as I said, for the sake of this video, I'm going to apply just a little bit of highlight. And the one that I have here is the Wet n Wild. Precious Petals, you know that I love this so much. So I'm going to apply just a little bit right here. Okay, so I just retouched my eyebrows and next I'm going to use this Brows Gel Creator from uh, Lovely Cosmetics. I like this because it adds a little bit of shine. What are your plans for this summer? As I said, probably I'm going to work till mid august i don't know exactly but i'm planning to go to romania because i haven't been there in about five years now so i want to see my family and also i have a niece that i haven't met in person we saw each other on facetime but we haven't met in person she's like two or three now i don't even know exactly but i want to see my niece and my nie nie nephew so yeah I want to spend some quality time with La Familia and also my boyfriend doesn't want to come to Romania I'm trying to convince him to come with me okay next I'm going to do my wings and uh, there's only two more steps in this makeup tutorial <laughs> uh, wing liner and mascara but first I'm going to uh, curl my lashes I'm going to use the Renaissance Revolution Pro Flick Liner, I guess that's the name. 
and I need to repurchase this because it kind of dried a little bit but it's so good the first tip is amazing it's so easy to create the wings I'm not going to do anything dramatic wait and see it but my plan is not to do dramatic dramatic wing liners you saw how easy that was okay next step is mascara and uh, I'm going to use two mascaras I'm using the uh, Bad Girl Bang Mascara from Benefit and then um, Paradise Ecstatic from L'Oreal so first I'm going with the Benefit one and then I'm going to go with the L'Oreal on top one coat second coat Wow, this mascara gets so um, flaky. You see that? Right here, right here, right here, right here. That's the only thing I hate about this mascara, but other than that, it really makes my lashes long and nice and full and wispy and voluminous. No, I'm just kidding. But I really like this mascara. I'm going to try to remove that I think that's it you guys my makeup is complete I'm not going to do anything else because as I said I don't put too much effort into my makeup when I'm going to work I just try to look how do I say this normal <laughs> because without makeup I feel like I'm looking like a zombie yeah okay I have issues you have them too <laughs> so uh, yeah guys I just have to change to put my uniform on my unicorn uniform <laughs> not really yeah I wish I had a unicorn uniform but no uh, it's something very basic so uh, yeah guys let me put my earrings my Aliexpress earrings remember these <laughs> I wear them every single day. I feel like they are so different and so nice. I like them. But yeah guys, I feel like this completes this video. I don't have anything else to tell you. And uh, yeah, expect me to see me morena next time in my next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very random get ready with me. As I said, I wanted to update you guys on some things. And uh, I don't know, to update you maybe on my how I do my makeup for work. Because I, you know, I'm using different products than uh, the last time I filmed this video. So uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I will see you in my next one. Ouch.